Hey everybody, I'm Lance Goyke. Today we're discussing how to write your own workouts. We're talking about the pieces of building the puzzle that is your workout. And our fifth piece that we're talking about here is your exercise mode. So what that means is just exercise selection. What exercise are you going to do? In general, you want to stick with the basics. Squats, bends or deadlifts, uh, pushing exercises, both horizontal and vertical and pulling exercises, both horizontal and vertical. Those things allow me to train pretty much every muscle that's in my body. Now, there is some nuance, right? If I want to train my shoulders, I need some sort of uh, vertical pressing motion. But if every time I do it, my arms come up like this and I can't get them straight up like this where, you know, gravity is going straight through my arm. Instead, it's going this way. I have to either lean my back back so that I can get my arms straight up and do more weight and then put more stress on my low back. Or I don't do that and I put a lot of stress on the shoulder in general. So, you know, a strict overhead press, for example, this is the best example of this, might not be appropriate for everyone, but I can still get vertical pressing stuff by doing like a really high incline bench press, right? It doesn't necessarily have to be a strict vertical press. Um, there is a lot of, we talked about our training principles before, there's a lot of individuality in exercise selection, but for the most part, most movements are very general and they work well for everybody. Um, some tiny, tiny variations can make some really big changes for some people. So if I've got somebody who does their squat and they shift their butt to the right a lot, then I may want to uh, have them hold a weight in their left arm when they do a lunge, for example, and not hold a weight in their right arm. And that little over tweak helps them push through the left side a little bit more. It helps them bring their hips over to the left, at least when their left leg is forward. Um, it actually brings them over to the right a little bit more when they uh, hold it in their left hand and do their right leg forward on their lunge. So I might want to think about what I'm doing there. Um, yeah, it just again, there is an art to coaching but you wanna make it as sciencey as you can. You wanna be as experimental as possible. So find the exercises that you do pretty well with, tweak them really, really subtly. Um, even a bench press, like you can do a, a normal bench press, you can do a pause bench press, you can widen your grip, you can narrow your grip, you can uh, bring the bar down to a two by six that's on your chest. You can bring the bar down to two two by sixes to three two by sixes. You can do a bench in a, a powerlifting bench shirt. You could do it with one of those slingshot things wrapped around your arm. You could do a push up. You could do a floor press. You could do a, all of these with dumbbells. You could do all of these with one dumbbell. There's so many different variations. And, you know, yeah, I mentioned just one push up, but you don't have to bench press. I got a buddy who hasn't bench pressed in like 10 years because he had so many shoulder surgeries. So don't get locked into any one particular thing. If that is your event that you're competing for, you've probably got to do it somehow, but make sure that it is the right choice for you.